If you're interested in learning how to create this black and red circle and dot nail design, please keep watching. The items used in this tutorial will be listed on my blog. If you're interested, for more information, please visit the full blog entry linked below in the comments section. After you've prepped your nails, that is, pushed back your cuticles and filed and buffed your nails, paint on two coats of your favorite base coat. The base coat I'm using is Jealous. I used two coats for this tutorial since we are using a red polish, which can stay nails even with the best base coats. Once dry, apply one coat of red polish. This is Wet n Wild Wild Shine in 414A. This polish is opaque enough that you only need one coat, but if you choose to use a different polish, you may need a second coat. Once dry, prepare your strips of tape for your black half of the nail design. For one hand, you'll need five pieces, one for each finger. Next, we are going to take one of the strips of tape and cut it down to size for your thumbnail. Here we want the width of the strip to be slightly less than half of the width of the tape. Center the tape on your thumbnail. Make sure to create a nice seal at the cuticle. You also want to make sure you have a good seal on your nail bed to create clean lines. Next, we are going to add our black polish. Using your black polish, paint the exposed parts of your nails. I am using Wet n Wild Wild Shine in 424A. Before the polish begins to dry, remove the tape. This will prevent the polish from stringing or clotting at the edges. Next, we want to place our tape on the index finger. We want the right half to be red and the left to be black. So make sure to place the tape on the red side to cover the areas that you want to keep red. As before, place the tape and ensure you create a good seal. Like with the thumb, don't forget the cuticle. Paint the exposed part of the nail black. As with the thumb, you want to remove the tape immediately after creating your first coat. There's your first nail. Repeat this for the middle finger. For the ring finger and pinky finger, you want to mirror the pattern. So you want the red on the left, black on the right. Place the tape on the left side and paint the right part. As you can see, the colors are flipped. Repeat this for the pinky. In this tutorial, we are using three different size dotting tools, a large, medium, and small. To begin the circles, drop white polish onto paper. 
Using your large dotting tool, create large white dots. For your pinky, dot two in the black and one in the red. For your ringer, ring finger, two in the black and two in the red. Mirror this pattern for your middle finger and your ring finger. For your thumb, place one large dot in the center. Next, drop black polish onto paper. Using your medium dotting tool, dot black dots into the white, but only on the black side of each nail. This creates the illusion of circles. For your thumb, place one medium to large dot above and below the white dot. Next, drop red polish onto paper. As you did with the black dots, using your medium dotting tool, place red dots in the white dots for the red side of your nail. On your thumb, place the red dot inside the white dot. To take this design from symmetrical to more random polka dot, start adding medium and small dots. Starting with the white, I place white dots in the middle of the middle and ring finger. I then place small dots on the index and pinky. For the thumb, you want to place two small dots along each edge and then place small to medium dots within the black dots. For the black and red polishes, start adding medium and small dots in a random pattern. I like for these dots to overlap some of the circles to create a bit of dimension. For your thumb, with the red polish, you want to add small dots around the small white dots along the edges. So here is your finished pattern. To complete this look, add your favorite top coat. I use sesh feet as usual. You want to use a good top coat here to fill in the voids between the dots. This will prevent overly bumpy nails. If you like this tutorial and want to see more, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or Pinterest. And if you're really interested, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching! This is Erica from From Brains to Beauty.